Welcome back to the second shift of this Javelin Breakdown. We got Space Game and we are breaking down this Javelin. So let's get right back in it. And see if we can finish the job. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Right, before we do that, let's check our tools. Make sure nothing needs... Uh... Oh look, the grapple's a bit low there. Let's repair that. I normally like to repair anything whenever it gets under 70... It's under 80%, so if it's 70-something, I like to repair it. So. On this current ship, we're going to continue our salvage, jump straight back in, and finish off that javelin. At the very end of that last shift, you saw us chucking out all of the valuables in this section. Let's see if there's anything left. There's a few bits left. One of the key things that's left, very easy to miss, is this one, the air filter. So we're going to take that out and put it in the barge, because that one just looks like a regular bit of aluminium, really, but it goes in the barge. Safest way to do that, stinger. A little bit around the edge. Just cuts it out perfectly. Don't do that. Pull the bench off, releases the thing, put it in the barge. She got annoyed at me there for destroying like I don't know, one ten dollars worth of metal. Doesn't really matter. Getting that air filter is definitely worth it. Credits deposited. Plus, makes a nice little hole in the ship. <laughs> Structural cushion there. Makes a nice little hole in the ship for us to try and get other stuff out. These big storage bins. It's going in anyway. Nice. Salvage secure. Account credit applied. Couple of batteries, those were those were attached to those big computer terminals in the last shift. Get a wall switch. Grab the posters. We can decorate our hab with those. Take out the furniture. All the rest of this stuff. Most of it goes into the uh, into the furnace. So we can just yeet this entire section. Into the furnace. A couple more posters there. Uh, don't really need to collect them. I've got them all anyway. Let's be having them. Bottles, crisp packets, snacks. They can all go in the furnace. Doesn't matter. Just stick it in there, it'll all go in at once. So what's the best way to get that back section off and into the furnace? Cut here. Use the cutter, split saw mode. And this takes a couple of cuts. 
notice that first cut doesn't go through all three pieces of metal in them and I quite annoying, you need at least two. And normally I do it on the inside, so I know exactly what I'm cutting. Two cuts on each beam. Check that I've got them all, check that they're all clear through. Nice. Okay. Now, this entire back section, wholesale, into the furnace. One piece. You'll get decent credits for that. So, these pod clamps, they go in the barge. Not really worth that much. Quite time consuming to do. Now, if they've got salvage attached to them, like uh, fuel tanks and coolant tanks, then we'll want to take them off. But for now, nah. So, cut them. Again. This whole section here is largely made from aluminium. Cut through there. We want to cut it all properly. Sure. So that bit's made of aluminium. This kind of frame here, that's all nanocarbon, that goes in the processor. So we're going to cut along the period cut points. And that'll just split this whole thing into kind of concentric sections. You'll have that nanocarbon frame on the outside. And that kind of truss work on the inside. I think I've got them all. What I like to do? Two tethers. Back of the bay. Just pull it out. Oh, have I missed one? Looks like I've missed one there. Where is it? There it is. Get it before it picks up too much speed. We should still be alright. It's not wanting to tether that. Let's tether it back to the main body. Yeah, that's done what we want. We're going to cancel those tethers. This bit. Move in the furnace. Whoop, trying not to crash into it. Ah, we accidentally cut off a couple of those pod clamps there. Might as well stick them in the barge. Swallowing it around. Material deposited. So yeah. Pod clamp goes in. Huh, 22,000 credits. Maybe it is worth taking them off. Didn't think they were worth that much. So let's do it. So I've just separated them all. What I'm going to do is grapple that back to the ship. I get a clear grapple there. Let's try it again. I grapple that back to the ship. It'll move. The pod clamps will stay where they are. Bang. In they go. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage reserves are low. Reminder 
Asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Well, salvage secured. Credits deposited. All goes to the dirt. Right, let's go get some air. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Oxygen reserves are critical. Affordable oxygen supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. So yeah, that's uh, most of the pod clamps there. Let's just finish those off. Five minutes left on the shift. All out to time. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. That looks like all of the pod clamps. We're just gonna into the uh, got about process. five minutes left in this shift cutter don't bite off more than you can chew we were out oh, the pod clamp there okay that's all of them right let's have a look at this ion ring then normally i start with this actually with this grade of ship you can just go through it with the slip on nice and quick you do that one ones. Let's take it from the front actually. Less in the way. That's taken off the um, half. So you've got to be careful here not to actually cut through the ion ring itself. You just want to go through the, uh, the cut points. And you don't want to bother with these cut points here. Reason being, you can just do those whole three sections at once. There's the barge gone, there it is, okay. Grapple. Together, bang, send a couple of them, in it goes. Why aren't you moving? Ah, didn't cut that one properly. Let's do it now. They should take off. There we go. Top one, little bit more annoying, but you just gotta. What I find is pull it forward of the ship by tethering it onto the hab there. Goes in. Then you can cancel your tether with a Y. I'm just going to let it fly off. I'll deal with that later. Let's go inside the ship and see what we've got in there. A few bits to pick up. And another pressurized environment to deal with. So the external part of the ship isn't pressurised. Looks like the cockpit is, so let's just open up the cockpit. Airlock pressure levels are increasing. This is the cockpit. There should be a pressure regulator in here. Here it is. Air pressure level decreasing. Depressurize the cockpit. Now that it's depressurized, let's just cut the front of it off. Cut that off. Don't want the demo charge. Grapple's what we want. Give it a bump. Gets the windscreen off. I could go in the furnace later, but for now. Just gonna take these computers out of the cockpit. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. 
Always look under the floor. Sometimes you can find hard drives, interesting stuff. All those wall terminals are worth quite a bit. Let's get them in. That's what cares. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep and let's finish strong. Certainly is. Let's finish by putting this whole thing into the processor. So all of this structure now is nanocarbon. Salvage secured. Means processor. Two carts get through the two cut points. One grapple. You can do it with a push as well. I like to grapple it. And we're out. Let's put that remaining front part of iron ring. See, it's floated out of the way now. So, we didn't quite get up to our second checkpoint there. Um, that's fine, it just means we've got a little bit more work to do in the third shift. That all important third shift. This little screen here shows you what you've salvaged, what you've destroyed. It can give you an idea of, you know, if you look at it in future, what's actually worth salvaging. Um, some of these things like the bottles and the crisp packets and stuff, um, they're not worth much money, but they can get you nice little stickers and stuff to go on your gear. Um, I'll show you that in a future video, but yeah, uh, that's the sort of salvage screen. We're going to have to do one more shift to get the most out of this javelin. So hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified of when the third shift of this javelin breakdown comes out. Stay safe.